John Nicolau and I'm very proud to serve as president of the University of New Orleans. I'm very pleased to be with you today to celebrate our graduates and their loved ones. Candidates for degrees, faculty and staff of the University of New Orleans, parents and friends, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Spring 2020 University of New Orleans commencement ceremony. We're delighted you're here this afternoon sharing this highlight in the lives of our students, their families and friends. And while a pandemic has prevented us from all being together physically, the entire UNO community is united in the pride that we feel for our graduates. Candidates for degrees, today's program marks the end of long years of rigorous academic training and the beginning of a transition to a different chapter in your lives. I want you to think for a moment about how different you are today than when you first arrived at the University of New Orleans grown in so many ways through your determination to work hard and achieve your degree. And now you understand what I mean when I say that education is transformational. And yes, you faced obstacles along the way, but with the help of your family, friends, and supporters, you succeeded and you're prepared for whatever comes next. You have accepted the challenge and the future is yours. Congratulations. I would also like to thank our faculty and staff this day could not occur without you. I'm confident that you've been able to spark in the members of the class of 2020 a lifelong love of learning. Thank you for your tireless commitment to your students and the University of New Orleans each and every day. Before the conferral of the degrees and the reading of the names, we have two special messages for our graduates. The first comes from Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards thankful to him for taking the time to speak with you. The second is from Miss Sheba Turk. Sheba is a New Orleans native, a UNO graduate, and a news anchor with WWL-TV in New Orleans. To the class of 2020, congratulations on this momentous achievement. I know this isn't the senior year you envisioned and, and no one can replace the memories you had hoped to share with friends and family during this time. But even though I can't personally shake your hand at graduation, I want you to know how incredibly proud I am of everything that you've accomplished and the persistence that it took to get here. One of the things our fight against COVID-19 has taught us is that we need creative, innovative minds like yours to bring forth solutions and build stronger communities, no matter what challenges come our way. You are the future of Louisiana, and because of you, that future looks bright. One day, when we can all be together again, we will ensure that your class is properly celebrated. But until then, Congratulations, class of 2020, and God bless. 
Congratulations, 2020 UNO graduates. I am so proud of you all, and I am so sorry that this pandemic is impacting your much-deserved celebrations and really all of our lives right now. I graduated from UNO in 2011, and I always like to say just barely. I dropped out of school in New York for financial reasons, and I almost dropped out of UNO for financial reasons as well. But I finally made it through, and I know how difficult it has been for some of you to get to this point, and you deserve to celebrate that. What I would say in tough times like these is take this time to define yourself as a person. I've realized it's easy to be the positive, productive, happy person when everything's going your way. Who are you when everything is going wrong? Can you have faith in the toughest times? And you can, but you have to work at it. I'm not downplaying that what you guys are going through is really difficult and disappointing, but you can still be caring and loving and supportive of others. Even as you struggle yourself, you can still set your eyes on a better future. Because I've also learned that good times don't last, but neither do the bad times. And when this is all over, you will be able to look back and say, if I got through that, I can get through anything and you certainly can. Congratulations again, I'm so proud of you all, and welcome to the UNO Alumni Association. At this point, we'll proceed with the conferral of degrees. Degree candidates, wherever you may be, please rise. All of these candidates have fulfilled the requirements for their respective degrees, with the recommendations of the academic deans and directors of their respective units. The provost and senior vice president for academic affairs and by the authority vested in me by the University of Louisiana Board of Supervisors that confer upon each of you the appropriate degree with all the privileges and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations. We will now move on to the reading of the graduate names. Jacob Bordelon. Chase Falls. Kiara Horton. Kevin Lord. Michael Mayorga. Trevor Pates, Valerie Paz, Sheriyar Shah, Zachary Snow. James Stoddard. Charles Escudé. Huang Huang. Brandon Mikey. Fat Win. Lana Parker. Diego Rodriguez. Micah Alfonso. Victor Barbosa Pereira. Blake Bro. Ethan Michael Fonte. Dallas Gardner. Shakar Karki. Cole LeBlanc.
Drew Lewis. Chase Lytle. Maxwell Nodia. Anthony Pila. Alexandra Simon. Colin Wyatt. Daniel Zimmerman. Muhammad Al Hamadi. Ahmed Al Kanbuli. Adam Biba. Gracelyn Bowers. Trey Schultz. Grant Welt. Graduates, your university is as proud of you as your family and your friends. I hope you'll stay in touch with your alma mater. Keep us informed of your personal and professional journey through the UNO Alumni Association. We are here to support you. I'd also like to thank everyone who helped organize today's events, as well as all of you who participated in this ceremony. Graduates, I look forward to seeing you soon. Once again, congratulations, privateers.